Today I'm going to share a small home goods and Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I am so glad you decided to stop by and share some of your time with me. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a small holiday home decor haul. I know, I know, I know. It's early in the season. Thanksgiving has not even taken place yet. I normally do not start my holiday videos this early in the season. Since the stores have started even earlier, it has pushed my dates up as well. And that's okay. So sit back and enjoy as I share with you this very small home goods and Dollar Tree haul. Let's get started. Oh, but before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you come back and tune in. Now let's get started. So the first item I have is a table runner. It is fall related. Uh, it is for Thanksgiving. This runner, this table runner will sit on my kitchen table. Uh, it's of the Harvest Collection. Uh, as you know, I've already done my dining room tablescape. I will link that video up above if you haven't seen it yet. And it is a 14 by 72 inch table runner, uh, which is perfect for the table that I have in the kitchen. I think the colors are absolutely beautiful. The browns, the creams, and the navy blues are pretty much my theme that I'm using for fall, uh, probably for the rest of this year. It says that it's reversible, um, and I didn't even realize that when I first picked it up, but it's just the same pattern on the, uh, as it is on the other side. Cream, brown, navy blue, little splashes of gray. But I thought that was beautiful. I thought that I picked it up because I love the color. It matches my color theme in my, um, throughout my entire home. Beautiful. And then I picked up a second table runner. This table runner here, however, is uh, for winter, uh, for the winter holiday. It is a part of the Nanette Lepore collection. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's sparkly and it's uh, gray with, with silver sparkles in it and white snowflakes. This one, however, is not necessarily reversible because it's just a solid gray on the other side, but it's really pretty. Um, so that's going to go really well. This one, however, will go in the dining room. Um, you will see this as a part of my winter tablescape. I like that. The first runner was $9.99, and this runner was $11.99. And then I also picked up the matching placemats. Now, these placemats will go on my kitchen table for the winter, for my winter tablescape in my kitchen. Um, I thought that was really pretty. There's only four of them, though. And there wasn't a second set. So I grabbed them anyway because I was like, well, it was the only set they had left. So I grabbed them. And that's why they'll end up, I think they'll go perfect in the kitchen on the table. And the runner will go in the dining room for that tablescape. Okay, and then I picked up the reindeer. I picked up two reindeer. Um, I thought they were absolutely cute. And uh, if I haven't said it already, uh, my name is Sharon, and I have an issue with buying too many pumpkins. And now it seems as though uh, my name is Sharon, and I have a problem with reindeer. I don't know what's going on. I have so many pumpkins. I got to the point when I went into the store, I said I wasn't buying any more pumpkins. I'm going to start after this shopping haul i i'm going to try not to buy i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna to try to buy i'm gonna to try not to buy you hear that i'm going i'm not going to lie i'm going to try not to buy any more reindeer but i thought these were absolutely cute i thought that was a beautiful set this was this will more than likely be a part of my dining room tablescape that is to come so stay tuned for that but those were absolutely beautiful. The larger one was $12.99 and the smaller one was $9.99. And now you see, as I was saying, why I, I don't want to buy any more reindeer. I think I have more than enough. Uh, but I couldn't resist this. This one was so, this one was so cute. I couldn't resist it. It has a little bell. 
I'm, I'm gonna say she, I don't know why, but she has the, the baby, she has a little bell around her neck. Blue, they're, they look, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, they're kind of a blue and silver, which you know, I love blues, um, whether it's aqua, teal, or navy blue. I think navy blue is probably my most favorite, um, but I thought these were absolutely beautiful, the silver and the blue. That is definitely gonna be a part of the table, scape, and my home decor, not just for the holidays, it's throughout the year. I am, however, trying to pull back on some of the glitter. That glitter is driving me insane. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't resist these. I couldn't leave them. I thought they were absolutely beautiful. So again, this one is a little smaller. How much was this one? This one was 12. This was 12.99. And this was $9.99. And next is my Dollar Tree item. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? It's a little sleigh. It says, let it snow. I thought that was really cute. I don't know if I'm going to use this uh, as a part of a wreath. I think this will be really pretty on a wreath. Or I could probably even use it in a um, vignette. A winter vignette. I'm not sure. But I couldn't resist that sleigh. I thought that was cute. I got some of these. Um, I guess they're ornaments. That is not how I'm going to be using them. Um, I don't know if they're going to be a part of a tablescape, a vignette, or a wreath. Same with these. I know you all have seen these in your Dollar Trees. Um, I had some of these last year and I used them uh, for place setting on a tablescape. I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing with them this year, but I grabbed a couple of those as well. I also grabbed some of the white snowflakes. I have a uh, white lit, uh, lighted, is it light or lit? I have a, a white tree. It's not a Christmas tree, but it's a tree that has lights on it, like the actual branches. No leaves, just branches. And these look so pretty on there with uh, crystals on it. I thought they made a beautiful centerpiece. So that's probably what these will be used for as a part of a centerpiece. And how many do you get? You get six of them in there? I also picked up a couple of these. I thought these were beautiful. I wish they had these in silver, um, but I did pick up the blue. I'm pretty certain you'll see these in an upcoming DIY project, so stay tuned for that. I just wish they had them in silver as well. Now I picked up a couple bags of the faux snow, which I may use in my Creative Glam Holiday Village. I also picked up some of the miniature trees, because you can never have too many Christmas trees in your snow village. And I picked up some more trees. I currently do not have any white Christmas trees for my snow village. So that's why I grabbed these. I also last year uh, used these in my winter scene that I created in my large caloche. So they could either go for the winter village or they could go for, again, a smaller scene inside of a caloche. And then I picked up these ornaments. Some were in a cream color and some were in a tan. And again, those are going to match my home decor for the season. I thought those were pretty. I only picked up a couple of those because that's really all that I need. And then I picked up some of these smaller silver bowls. Um, they had run out of these in my Dollar Tree for quite a while, for at least over a year. So when I saw these, I grabbed a couple packs because I think there's a DIY that I wanted to do there was a DIY that I wanted to do about a year ago that I didn't get an opportunity to do that I think now I can make that happen. And when I do, I'll share it with you all. I got the smaller ones and I got the larger ones. Last but not least, I got some of the flat ornaments. And I thought those were pretty. And then I believe these have a little adhesive backing on them. Uh, so I grabbed those two glitter stickers because um, I thought that these could be used in my um, greeting cards, my handmade greeting cards that I do. So I'm pretty certain that's where you'll see those used. I found these at um, Joanne Crafts. 
because this is what I was looking for, but I I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked them up. I was looking for silver um, snowflakes. So I knew I could get them at the Dollar Tree, but when I went over to Joanne Crafts, I found these. These were 99 cents, but they were 50% off. So it was 50 cents. This was 50 cents and this was a dollar. Of course, you get five of these. So they're a little over, what, less than 25 cents each, about 20 cents each or something like that, about 18 to 20 cents each per snowflake, and this was 50 cents. But if you look closely, I love the definition of that. It's just a little clearer to me um, versus the Dollar Tree one. So again, you'll see these in a DIY, so stay tuned. Thanks guys, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing some of your time with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Make sure you leave me a comment because I enjoy hearing from you. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a big thumbs up. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!